Hello everyone, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. We give God the praise, we give him the glory that he has made it possible for us to be here. One more time, wherever you are listening to me or watching me, we're glad God's made it possible for us to be together tonight. Part 2 of our two-day series, praying about the theme, Grasshopper to You and Grasshopper to Them. By now you understand what I meant by that when I wrote it. Thank you so much for being here. Everybody on Facebook, thank you for coming in tonight. Sister Karen, looks like you are the first to get in. For me, I was thinking about you just five minutes ago. I hope you are doing very well. Congratulations for your sister's baby. I pray God will continue to increase and expand your family. Pastor David Bonate, good to see you, sir. I don't know if it's you or it's your wife or your children or all of you. Whatever the case may be, we thank God for you being here tonight. I know there are many more on this Facebook gathering tonight. I pray that God will bless you all and those that will be joining us before this is over. I want to welcome those on the podcast. God bless you all for being here tonight. By the time we finish tonight, uh, we will have had over 134,000 downloads. On the podcast. That's a lot of downloads. Remember when we used to have 4,000? I remember when we crossed the 6,000 line. I was so excited. 6,000 downloads. Now we will be at 134,000 by the time we are done tonight. We'll give God the praise. Please keep sharing so others can join us and be blessed. And those of you who are calling in, I give God the glory for each and every one of you. It's going to be a blessed time tonight. Grasshopper to you, grasshopper to them. Seriously, I'm encouraged by those of you who reached out to me yesterday and today, telling me how much you are blessed. Brother Michael Samson of Badagri Church. I'm so happy to see you, young man. You're going to grow up to be a mighty man of valor. I pray God will keep you. God will watch over you and everyone that is connected to you. One of these days, you're going to call me and say, oh, Bishop, I'm getting married. I pray that whoever you choose will help you also to get stronger in the Lord. Sister Dorcas. Some of you are wondering who Sister Dorcas is. <laughs> That's Sister Raji. Good woman. We are glad that to have you. Sister Marie, thank you for being here. Sister Bola, ha, I don't know what your position was last weekend, but I guess you are all in all for last weekend, you and Sister BC and also uh, Sister Dawn. We're praying for you, Sister Dawn, tonight, and we're praying for your mom, and we're praying for everybody in your family. God will strengthen you all and see you through everything. In the name of Jesus. Well, let's go to God in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight. We pray you will stretch out your hand and, and, and strengthen us to be able to pray tonight. There are many people that are still to join us. We pray that you will bring them in safely. And you will bless us in a very, very, very special way. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. I like that name, you know. Wow, God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Our very own Lola Babs. We know who you are, even though most people will not recognize you by that name. But we thank God for your life, and we thank God for all that he's doing in you and through you. Grasshopper to you. Mm-hmm. And grasshopper to them. You caused it. I caused it. 
And I explained to you last night what that is all about. In fact, someone sent me a text last night and said, Bishop, you need to preach a sermon on that subject. It's so deep. Grasshopper to you, grasshopper to them. Well, I got the idea of that theme from the confession of 10 of the 12 spies that were sent into the promised land. Our focal verse was taken last night from the book of Numbers chapter 13 verse 33. And that's where I'm going to read again to you tonight. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers. And so we were in their sight. From that statement, we concluded last night that how you see yourself is how the enemy will see you. The conclusion you reach about yourself is the conclusion the enemy will reach about you. It's a serious, unseen, spiritual transaction. Your fear inside you that you cannot defeat the enemy, listen, without even saying it out, the enemy will automatically believe that you cannot defeat him. Look at that statement again. We were in our own sight as grasshoppers. And so were we in their sight. What you are is what they will perceive you as. The way you are in your own sight, people, is the way you will be in their own sight also. So for every battle, you determine how the outcome will be. Pretty serious stuff, really. Our prayer tonight will focus mainly on what made them think they were as grasshoppers. And this is so plain. This is so true. What made these people think that they were as grasshoppers? The reason for their grasshopper mentality is the focus tonight. In fact, if you are with me on Facebook, you will notice that the theme I wrote there is the reason for grasshopper mentality. And if you are on the podcast also, you will see that my theme there tonight is the reason for grasshopper mentality. That's what we need to pray against. That's what we need to demolish. Fear is the reason. Fear of the opposition. Pure and simple. Fear of the opposition. You say, Bishop, what led to that fear? Well, what they saw, they saw the giants. And immediately, fear was triggered inside them. What they saw brought about this fear, which made them to speak words of defeat. Yes. So, remember the process, people. You first see something, or you first hear something, (laughs) or you first know something, then secondly, you fear what you see, or you fear what you hear, or you fear what you know. Thirdly, your fear will lead you to make a negative confession. We are not able. We be not able. It's always a negative confession that comes out of the fear of what you see. The rest is defeat, pure and simple. So we need to wage war tonight. We've come to a war front, people, against fear. Especially fear of whatever you see. Lord have mercy. Fear of whatever you see, I repeat, fear of whatever you see, that was their problem, that was their problem. 
Do you know that was the same problem that Peter had on the sea, walking on the sea, after Jesus spoke and said, come? Do you know everything was fine? He was walking on the water and he was saying, wow, I'm doing it. He was walking on that water until the Bible says he saw something. Just like these people too. What did he see? He saw the wind, if I may use the King James Version uh, English, boisterous. The wind was blowing hard. What was his reaction? Just like the reaction of these ten spies. He feared. He feared. And after he feared what happened, he sank. You see, that's the bad thing about fear. It makes us sink. Did you hear what I said? Your worst enemy is fear. It will make you sink. But Peter was very smart. You know what Peter did? He quickly cried out. And what did he say? He said, Lord, save me. Lord, save me. Now that's going to be our cry tonight. That the Lord will save us. I know you are saved, many of you are saved, but you need salvation from something else. You need salvation from this, your fear. You fear too much, all right? Too much, you fear. You, the enemies you are fearing, they are afraid of you. And then you begin to fear and you begin to, to the moment you trigger that fear, you trigger boldness in them. I don't know if you get what I say. The moment you, you have fear in you, you trigger boldness in them. You trigger courage in them. Whereas if you walk with your head straight, like military people do, and you are unflinching and you are unchanging and you are saying, we can go up and take the mountains. We can go up and take the land. The people in the land, your fear will swallow them up. That's what we want to do tonight, people. Pray against fear. Cry against fear. Cry against sinking. And Jesus will be sure to come to our rescue like he came to the rescue of Peter. Please, don't forget to send the link to the platform you are on. Send it to someone you feel needs to pray these prayers. And Honestly, most people do. Most people do. Let them come and join us and be delivered from their crippling fear tonight. I'm just remembering going to the hospital to visit somebody maybe four years ago. <clears throat> and this man that I went to visit had another man in the room with him. He was, he was sick. But guess what? He refused to sleep. Because he was afraid if he closed his eyes, he will die. So the person I went to visit said, could you please pray for uh, my roommate here in the hospital? Because he refused to sleep. He is so fearful that if he ever closes his eyes, he will not wake up again. He will fall asleep and he will be dead. Now that's how crippling fear is, especially fear of death. The Bible says all their years they were in bondage because of their fear for death and of death. Well, we're going to believe that God will break this thing out of our lives. Fear about your health, fear about your children, fear about your education, fear about your finances, fear about your marriage, fear about this and fear about that. There are so many things that people get afraid of. And you know what I found out? At the end of the day, they all amount to nothing. Look at the fear of these spies. That they said, no, we can't go there. They, they, they'll kill all of us. Well, they went there and they killed all of them. It was only these ten spies that died before the people went into the promised land. Because God promised it. Peter talk, thought he was going to sink. He never sank. So I'm believing God for you. That which you are afraid of will never be your portion. You're going to beat it and you're going to come out with shouts of victory in the name of Jesus. I think I better stop here. 
so we can pray. I hope you have your seven prayer requests with you. I got mine here because we're going to devote some time for that tonight also. Let's go before God with thanksgiving tonight. Let's thank him for bringing us to day two of our prayers for this week. Father, I will praise you. Father, I will bless you. Father, I will worship you. Father, we adore you. We honor you. Oh, yes, we do. We glorify you. You are a good God. You brought us here again. It was this time yesterday we were together. And you watched over us since yesterday. You kept us. You protected us. You provided for us. And here we are. Another day. Glory to God. And another night. Thank you, Papa, for bringing us together to day two of our prayers. I wanted to thank God for the prayers of last night. Oh, I was so encouraged that it blessed many of you, that many have described as an eye-opening truth. Yes, the way you are to yourself is the way you will be to them. Father, we thank you because of your grace that we are not grasshoppers. Hallelujah. We are children of the living God. Father, thank you because when I'm not a grasshopper to myself and no one can look at me and say I'm a grasshopper. We reject it. I'm a servant of the living God. And there are servants of the living God on this prayer line tonight. And there are men and women of the living God. We stand our ground. Hallelujah. I want to say thank you. Come on, bless his name. That you are not a grasshopper in the name of Jesus, but a child of the living God. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory. <laughs> Father, we give you honor. Father, we give you dominion. Father, we give you my majesty. Hallelujah. Father, we praise you. Father, we glorify you. Thank you because we are men and women of God and you don't mess with men of God and women of God and children of God anywhere they are. Father, we thank you because we are not grasshoppers. Oh, as a matter of fact, we are giants that giants are afraid of. Hallelujah. Because we are living inside God. God is living inside us and we can stand our ground. I want you to bless the Lord for exposing fear for what it is. It's a robber of blessings. It's a robber of peace. It's a robber of joy. I want you to bless his name for exposing fear and helping us to attack fear head on tonight in the name of Jesus. And I know where God leads us to pray, God will do some great and mighty things tonight in the mighty, mighty, mighty name of Jesus. Thank God because tonight fear will be removed from every nook and corner of our lives. Did you hear what I said? Fear will be removed from every nook and corner of my life. Lord, where there is fear that I know and there is fear that I don't know inside me, I bless your name because you are going to remove them all from me tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank God because fear will be crushed under your feet, will be flattened under your feet tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Pray that God will give us liberating prayer points tonight in the name of Jesus. Pray that God will just look upon us and be merciful unto us and give us powerful prayer points as individuals, powerful prayer points as a group of people tonight beyond the 50 or 60 prayer points that I have here that God will even give you personal prayer points that you'll be able to pray tonight, even as we call upon his holy name. I want us to come against our greatest enemies. Yes, so our greatest enemies are sin and unbelief. We crush them by the blood of Jesus. We ask you, Lord God, that you will forgive us, you will cleanse us, you will purge us, you will purify us, and remove every sin, every sin of omission, every sin of commission, whatever we have done, whatever we have said, wherever we have gone, that you know, we know and you know is wrong. Some of them are even deliberate. I pray, Lord God, that you will just have mercy on us, that this will not be a waste of time. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh God, remove our sins, remove our unbelief, remove our doubt, remove our double-mindedness, because we are firm believers in the fact that if we regard iniquity in our hearts, the Lord will not hear us. 
answer. It's not just that the Lord will not answer us. He will not even hear us at all. Oh Lord, we ask you that you will wash us tonight. You will cleanse us tonight. You will purge us tonight. You will purify us tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we come against that nasty unbelief, oh God, that makes us doubt you. But Lord God, how can we receive of you? Because the Bible says, let not that man think he will receive anything of the Lord. I pray for myself as I lead this prayer that I will not lead in unbelief. I pray for the men and the women, the boys and the girls that are with us tonight, that they will not pray these prayers in unbelief, O God. Father, help us all to pray. Help us all to pray. O Lord, help us all to pray in the name of Jesus. You know, that's the bad thing about online. You can be where you are and not be praying anything. You can be there and still be cooking at the same time. You can be there and not concentrate. You can be there and be reading text messages and just be hearing my voice. You're not going to get anything from the Lord that we concentrate for this next 38 more minutes. I want you to concentrate fully on these prayers. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray for grace to call upon God tonight against this nasty enemy called fear. Oh Lord, give us grace to call. Give us grace to yeah, give us grace to pray. Give us grace to call upon your name as we pray tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Grace to pray. Grace to call. Grace to pray. Grace to call. Father, give it to us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray that the Lord will help you to be alert. The Lord will help you to be awake. The Lord will help you to focus on why we are here tonight. I want you to pray for our friends all over the world that the Lord we strengthen them even to pray tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh, we have people from Italy joining us tonight. Uh, people from Wales joining us tonight. People from Ghana joining us. Nigeria joining us. Uh, and many other countries far away. Many of them are supposed to be resting. Many of them are supposed to be sleeping. But they have decided to wake up and rise up. Uh, there are even churches, hallelujah, that join us and use this one hour as part of their night vigil. We welcome you all tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray the Lord will bless us mightily. The Lord will strengthen us to pray. The Lord will strengthen us to pray. I want you to pray for me that the Lord will strengthen me physically and spiritually to be able to lead these prayers tonight in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah, Lord, do it for us. I want us to pray against the enemy called fear. It's an enemy, oh, and I want you to pray that the root of fear in your life will be uprooted by the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, uproot from my life the power and the dominion of fear in the name of Jesus. Father, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh Lord, remove the root of fear from my life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know, all of us try to look like we are courageous. <laughs> All of us try to look like uh, we are bold. All of us try to look like men and women of faith. But when the robber really meets the road, you know the thing that shakes you. You know the thing that terrifies you. I want you to pray tonight. Uh, uproot them from my life, O oh Lord. The power, the dominion of fear in the name of Jesus. Uh, Papa, uproot from my life. Uh, uproot from my husband's life. Uh, uproot from my wife's life. Life, or proof from my parents' life, or proof from my children's life, the dominion of fear, the power of fear, or prove them, pull them out, pull them out of our souls, pull them out of our spirits. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father, the Bible says fear is a snare. Oh Lord, break the yoke and the snare of fear from us. Every snare of fear in me, oh Lord, let it catch fire. It's a snare. It ties you down. It's a snare. He keeps you from going forward. He's a snare. He keeps you from receiving. I want you to pray tonight. Oh Lord, the snare of fear. Destroy them in my life. Oh, remove it in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Papa, remove the dominion of fear, the snare of fear from my life. Let it not dominate my life any longer. Fear about my health. Fear about my finances. Fear about whatever it is that you are afraid of. 
Tell the Lord to destroy. Tell the Lord to remove. Tell the Lord to uproot. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Can I ask you to pray another prayer this evening? Whatever is opposite to faith in my life. Papa, uproot them from me. Uproot them from me. Whatever is in me that is opposite to faith. Whatever is in me that is opposite to confidence. In the name of Jesus. That fear in you that makes you say you are going to lose your pregnancy. Is nothing but fear. If you agree to it, if you agree to it, whatever you say, you are, if you say you are a grasshopper, your enemy will say you are a grasshopper. So Lord, we decree that you will not lose that pregnancy. In the name of Jesus, God gave it to you. I want you to hang on to it. Me and this pregnancy, we are going to last for the next nine months. Whatever, 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 whatever is opposite to faith in my life. Papa, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out. I'll pull them out, pull it out, pull them out, pull it out, pull them out. Whatever is opposite to faith in my life tonight, I pray that you will uproot. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It was what they saw. Yes. It was what the spies saw. They, sp they saw the giants and that triggered fear in them. Can I ask you to pray a prayer for yourself tonight? Say, my Lord, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, Papa, deliver me. Oh, deliver me from being negatively affected by what I see, by what I hear, by what I know. Did you hear what I said? Oh Lord, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me from being negatively affected by what I see, by what I hear, and by what I know. Come on, pray, 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 pray tonight. Say, I take authority over what I see. I take authority over what I hear. I take authority over what I know. You will not trigger fear in me from now on. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, help me to be confident. Hey! Help me to relax. No matter what I hear. No matter what I see. No matter what I know. Oh Lord, help me, help me, help me to relax. You remember Peter? He was to be dead the next day. And he was sleeping the night before. Hey! Hey! Me, I'm not there yet. Oh, that's why I came to this prayer meeting. If somebody said they are going to slaughter me tomorrow, like they said to Peter, I I will never sleep that night. But Peter just went to bed. Fearless. I want you to pray for yourself tonight, oh Lord. No matter what tomorrow has in stock, let me live one day at a time. Confident that I'm not going to die until it is my time. In the name of Jesus, I want you to rebuke the fear of death from your life right now. Those of you who are sick and they've given you bad report, say I rebuke fear of death. I rebuke fear of paralysis. I rebuke fear of stroke. Maybe so many people uh, have had a sickness in your family uh, and they say you are next. Uh, say I rebuke it, it's not my portion. Uh, every fear of what I hear, every fear of what I see, every fear of what I know. Uh, oh Lord, I decree uh, you will deliver me right now. Pray, 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 pray for deliverance. Uh, Papa, deliver us tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I want you to pray that what you think of, my Lord, have mercy that trigger fear in you. The Lord will eradicate it. The Lord will remove it. The Lord will destroy it. In the name of Jesus, deliver me from being negatively affected by what I see, oh God, what I hear, oh God, what I know, oh God, and what I think, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray for removal, 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 removal from me all fears that I might not have what you want me to have. Did you hear what I said? Removal of what God said. Fear will come and say, my friend, you will never have that thing. Don't listen to your fears. Listen to his word. Listen to his promise. Papa, remove from me all fears that I might not have what you want me to have in the name of Jesus that I might not live as long as you want me to live in the name of Jesus. I remember my own father telling us the story. I saw a picture. He was in, he was in a beautiful suit and he looked so young. I said, dad, what is this all about? He said, son, I was 40 years old when I took that picture. I thought I was going to die and I wanted you people to use that picture for my funeral. And he ended up living to be 94 years old. He lived 50 
four more years after he thought he was going, he was afraid that he was going to die. I decree you will not die, you will live. What is threatening to kill you now? I decree may the power of God kill that thing. May the fire of God destroy that thing. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray all fears. Father, gather them, gather them, gather them, gather them together for me. Gather them together for me. Gather them together for me. All fears that I might not have what you want me to have. All fears that I might not get what you want me to get. All fears that I might not be who you want me to be. Father, destroy them. 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 All the fears that I might not have what you want me to have. All the fears that I might not get what you want me to get. All the fears that I might not be able to do what you want me to do. That I might not be able to accomplish what you want me to accomplish. Father, destroy them. Father, destroy them because I reject them. Father, destroy them because I reject them. Father, destroy them. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray all my fears. Yes, I destroy you tonight in the name of the Father. I destroy you tonight in the name of the Son. I destroy you tonight in the name of the Holy Ghost. Say, Father, remove them. Say, Father, remove them. All fears of my opposing forces. All fears for my opposing forces. I want you to pray that the Lord will remove them from you tonight. Whatever I'm afraid of, Father, remove them from me. Whatever I'm afraid of, Father, remove them from me. Whatever I'm afraid of, Father, remove them from me. You know how we even talk in normal conversation and we say, I am afraid. This is this. I am afraid. This is that. Take that out of you, of your dictionary. Take that out of your communication style. Oh Lord, whatever I'm afraid of, whatever I'm afraid of, whoever I'm afraid of, oh Lord, remove from me, remove from me, remove from me. Any sickness, remove from me. Maybe you are even dreaming that they put you in a casket. I want you to say, Lord, remove from me in the name of Jesus. Jesus, whatever fear, whatever fear my dreams have brought upon my life, whatever fears my dreams have brought upon my life, Papa, destroy them, remove them from me, O Lord, because the dream is a fact, but the word of God is different. O Lord, let the word of God overcome and nullify every negative dream I've had about myself. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Papa, remove from me, O all fears, all fears of tomorrow, all fear of how things will be, all fear of how my children will pan out. Papa, remove it and destroy it. I want you to pray. They saw the giants. The giants were big. The giants were tall. The giants were huge. And they were afraid. Pray tonight. Oh Lord! No matter their size, no matter their height, come on, pray, 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 pray. No matter their size, no matter their height, Help me never to walk in fear of any adversary. After you have said, I've, I, you've given them to me. Why am I afraid? Oh, Lord, deliver us. Oh, we are not spiritual enough. We think like human beings. We look at the facts and we forget the truth. Oh, Lord, no matter their size, no matter their height, no matter their looks, no matter their talk. Oh, Lord, help me tonight. Help me tonight. Please ask God to help you. Please ask God to help you never to walk in the fear of any adversary. Poverty is adversary. Lack of money is adversary. Sickness is adversary. Whatever the adversary is that is poking at you, whatever the adversary is that is shaking you, that you look and you are terrified, you look at, you look in the mirror and you see it. Hallelujah. You go to the doctor's office and it confirms it. But God is still God. No matter what their size, no matter their height. Oh Lord, help me never to walk in the fear of any adversary or whatever they may be called giants oh lord no matter who they are they may be giants in the name of jesus i shall overcome i shall overcome because god said i can overcome because god said i will overcome i want you to begin to see situations say lord help me Help me, help me, help me uh, to begin to see situations uh, with the eyes of faith and not the heart of fear. Did you hear what I said? That the Lord will help you to begin to see your situations uh, not with the 
heart of fear, but with the eyes of faith. In the name of Jesus, say, oh Lord, whatever faces me in life, let me begin to see them with the eyes of faith and not the heart of fear. In the name of Jesus, maybe you've started something and you are not sure if you will ever be able to finish it. The hands that started it will finish it. In the name of Jesus, and you know what? You will live many more years to enjoy that which you've labored for. Maybe that's your fear. I will die before I reap the fruit of my labor. Uh Uh-uh. I reject that fear. Say, I reject that fear. Many of us have secret fears. Oh, yay. Say, every secret fear that I don't even discuss with myself, that I don't even discuss with people, but is eating me up on the inside. Papa, take it from me. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus, let me begin to see things with the eyes of faith and not with the heart of fear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Many of us are carrying the yoke of fear. I want you to pray tonight. Break the yoke of fear in my life. Break the yoke of fear in my life in the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus. Let me begin to see my situations with the eyes of faith and not the heart of fear in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight. Say my father. Say my father. Let the power of my God be exalted. Let the power of my God be exalted in my heart beyond the viciousness of the enemy. The enemy is vicious. Oh, we have to admit. Yes, the giants were looking weird. The giants were looking mean. But what about God? God means business. About delivering us. I want you to pray that the power of that God will be exalted in your heart. Father, let the fire, the power of God be exalted in my heart. Let confidence in God be exalted in my heart. Let faith in God be exalted in my heart beyond the viciousness of my enemy. In the name of Jesus, whoever the enemy is, oh Lord, spiritual enemies, physical enemies, emotional enemies, oh Lord, may the goodness of God, may the power of God be exalted in my heart beyond the viciousness of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, can we pray prayer tonight, Papa? Oh Lord, fear that leads to the suspicion of God's faithfulness. Hey, Lord, help me tonight. Remove from me, remove from me, remove from me, remove from me, destroying me, remove from me, destroying me. Fear that leads to the suspicion of God's faithfulness. We look at the faithfulness of God and we suspect him and we say, can this thing be? Can this thing be? That's what made Sarah to laugh the other day and Sarah just laughed when she was told she will have a baby. He said, did you laugh? She said, no, I never laughed. Oh, she was suspicious of the promise that was given to her. She was afraid at this my age. Can I have another child? I want you to pray tonight. Fear that leads to the suspicion of God's faithfulness. Fear that leads to the suspicion of God's promises. Papa, yank it out of me. Papa, cleanse it out of me. Blood of Jesus, wash me tonight. Blood of Jesus, wash it away from me. Blood of Jesus, wash it away from me. Fear, 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 fear that leads to the suspicion of God's faithfulness. That leads to the suspicion of God's word. Oh Lord, that fears that God's word will fail. Oh Lord, remove it from me, remove it from me, remove it from me. I want you to pray tonight, people. Thoughts of fear that cast down the promises of God. Cast them out of me tonight. Thoughts of fear. Thoughts of fear. Get out of me. Thoughts of fear. Get out of me. Thoughts of fear. Get out of me. Imaginations of fear. Get out of me tonight. In the name of Jesus. I said get out. I said get out. I said get out. Thoughts of fear that cast down promises of God. That looks down on the promises of God. Oh Lord. Cast them out. Cast them out. Remove them out of me. Oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray that where your faith eh, 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 has been hijacked by the spirit of fear, the Lord will come and deliver you. The Lord will come and deliver you. 
the Lord will come and deliver you. Say, my Father and my God, where my faith has been hijacked by the spirit of fear, come and deliver me this evening, O God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, where my faith has been taken away, where my faith has been hooked off by the spirit of fear. Deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, O Lord. Jesus looked at them and said, where is your faith? Where is your faith? O Lord, I don't know where my faith is, O I have faith in things that are that are that are not spiritual things. I sat on this chair. I wasn't afraid that it would not carry me. I'm speaking into this camera. I wasn't afraid that it will not work. I want you to pray tonight that the Lord will bind it and banish it. Say, oh Lord, bind the spirit of fear and banish the spirit of fear. I bind the spirit of fear. I banish the spirit of fear. Come on, open your mouth. I bind the spirit of fear. Say, I bind the spirit of fear. Say, I banish the spirit of fear from operating in me, from operating around me, from operating against me. Come on, bind them, bind them, bind them, bind them. It's a spirit. God has not given it to us. The enemy gave it to us. Our parents gave it to us. Our society gave it to us. Our environment give it to us. Spirit of fear, I bind you. Spirit of fear, I bind you. Spirit of fear, I bind you. Spirit of fear, I bind you and I banish you from my life. Get out in the name of Jesus. Loose your hold on me tonight. Loose your hold on me tonight. Spirit of fear, I take authority over you. I command you, be gone, be gone, be gone, be gone, be gone. Spirit of fear, spirit of fear, I bind you. I bind you. I banish you, I bind you, I banish you, I bind you, I banish you, I bind you, I banish you from my life, from operating in my life, from operating against my life, from operating around my life. Come on, bind them, bind them, bind them, bind them, bind them. Bind wicked powers that are using fear to paralyze your faith. Say, oh Lord, I bind powers, wicked powers that are using fear to paralyze my faith. Everything is fine until they inject fear into me. Oh Lord, make it impossible for the enemy to assail me with the spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. Can I ask you to pray another prayer tonight? I want you to pray this prayer. The fears that make you see the adversary as more powerful than your God, the Lord will remove it from you tonight. I'm saying it quietly. Oh, The fears that make you see the adversary as more powerful than your God, let the Lord remove it from me. Let the Lord remove it from you. Let the Lord remove it from us in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, all our fears that make us see the adversary as more powerful than our God because that's what the ten spies did. Oh, hey, majority carries the vote. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way we used to say it in those days. Majority carries the vote. Look at this majority. 10 out of 12. 10 out of 12. Oh Lord, I shall not be in the number. Let me not be in the number. I shall not be in the number. Let me not be in the number. In the name of Jesus, uh, remove my name, oh Lord, uh, from those who have signed up for fear. Remove my name, oh Lord, uh, from the book, uh, from the register of those that have signed up for fear. In the name of Jesus, uh, Papa. Uh, kick me out in your mercy from the book of fear. Kick me out. Draw me out in your mercy from the book of fear, from the company of the fearful. Oh Lord, take me away from the company of the fearful. In the name of Jesus, let me join the minority that does not fear. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, people, they saw something. Did you hear what I said? They saw something. The Bible says they saw the sons of Anak and they feared. I want you to pray that the Lord will help you from tonight not to be moved by what others see and are fearful. Oh Lord, let me not be moved by what others see and they tremble. Let me not be fearful about what others see and they are fearful. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh Lord, when they see it and they fear, let me see it and trust. Let me see it and they fear. Let me see it and trust. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray another prayer. Oh, this one is real, oh, that the Lord will deliver you, that the Lord will deliver me from exaggerations, uh, exaggerating the bigness of the things that confront us. Uh, land that eateth of the inhabitants. Uh, did you hear that, good people? They said the land 
eateth up the inhabitants. Can you please tell me which land can eat people? But that's what they said in their fear. Fearful people, when they talk, you will open your mouth like this and say, where did they get that in, in English grammar? They said the land eats up the inhabitants. Say, Holy Ghost, deliver me, deliver me, touch my tongue. Deliver me, deliver me, touch my heart. Deliver me, deliver me, touch my mouth. Deliver me from exaggerations, exaggerating the bigness of things that confront me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Let my faith in God come on pray. Let my faith in God come on pray. Let my faith in God always be that no opposition is stronger than me and my God. Did you hear that? Say, oh Lord, there's nothing that is coming that my God cannot handle. Isn't that beautiful? That was what, what happened to Peter. That was why he was able to sleep that night. He said, there's nothing that is coming that is bigger than my God. Herod is small. He's a small boy. And it turned out to be so. Oh Lord, walk on our faith tonight. Touch our confidence in you tonight and let fear let fear not rule. Let faith rule. Let fear not rule. Let faith rule. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that the Lord will deliver you from the fear that the word of God may never work for you. Jesus. Jesus. These are serious prayers. Oh, Papa deliver us. Deliver us. Deliver us from the fear that God's word may fail us. That God's word may never work Walk for ah, walk for us in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray for grace, 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 grace. Oh Lord, pour out grace upon your people tonight. Grace to believe the God you don't see more than the fearful things you see. Did you hear what I said? That God will give you grace to believe in the God that you don't see more than the fearful things that you see. Yes, you see all these fearful things, but you know God is there. Papa, help us to know that you are there so we can be delivered from the fear that is there. Oh Lord, deliver us from our fears. Help us to know you are there so we can be delivered from the fear that is there. Come on, say fire tonight. Say fire tonight. Come on, say fire tonight. Oh Lord, set on fire all the fears. Set on fire all my fears. Set on fire all my fears. Set on fire all my fears. My fears that say I cannot. My fear that say I am unable. My fear that say I am, it is impossible. Remove such fears from me by fire tonight. Set them on fire tonight. Set them on fire tonight. All the fears in me that make me talk. Oh Lord, that say I cannot. That say we are not able. That say it is impossible. Father, destroy them by fire. Destroy such fears by fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can I ask you to ask the Lord to touch your tongues? That you will not make negative, fearful confessions. Papa, deliver me from negative, fearful confessions. Open your mouth. Say, blood of Jesus. Say, blood of Jesus. Say, blood of Jesus. Cleanse me from fearful and negative confessions. Blood of Jesus. Cleanse me tonight from fearful and negative confessions. I want you to pray, oh, ah, that the blood of Jesus will cleanse you from negative confessions, from fearful confessions but also from negative thinking because the thinking leads to the talking oh lord in my thinking in my talking in my thinking in my confessions oh lord remove all negativity remove all words of fear remove all thoughts of fear remove all words of fear remove all thoughts of fear Pray, 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 pray tonight. Ah, yeah. Remove all thoughts of fear. Remove all words of fear. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Fears that trigger evil reports. Pray, oh, fears that trigger evil reports. Be destroyed in my life. In the name of Jesus. Fire, destroy them. Fire of God, destroy them from my life. Fears that trigger evil reports. Be destroyed in my life. Be destroyed in my life life. I want you to pray that God will help you to hold on to what God said and not to what you see and not to what your mind says and not to what people say to you. Ah! Evil reports. Come on, pray tonight. Evil reports. The fears have made you to believe. Hey! 
say, Jesus, evil reports that fears have made me to believe. Papa, uproot them from my soul. Uproot them from my soul. All evil reports that fears have made me to believe. All evil reports that fears have made me to believe. My Lord, my God, all negative reports, all bad reports that fears have made me to believe. Papa, uproot them from my soul. Papa, uproot them from my soul. Papa, uproot them from my soul. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Evil reports. Evil reports that have made fear to just hold me down. Father, uproot them from my life. Uproot the fear. Uproot the evil report. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let's pray the last prayer point before we go to our prayers. Seven prayer points. Say from now on, oh God. Yes, 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 yes. Say from now on, from this very second on, let faith in God overcome all the fears in my life. Let faith in you overcome all the fears in my life. Papa, from right now, from right now, until I see Jesus face to face, let faith in God overcome all fears in my life. Oh Lord, from now on, let faith in God overcome all fears in my life. From now on, oh Lord, let faith in God overcome all fears in my life in the name of Jesus. Begin to give God the praise, begin to give God the glory. Begin to give God the honor. Begin to give him the majesty. Thank you, Father God, for breaking the yoke of fear from our lives. Thank you, Lord, for pushing out fear from our lives tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Papa, for the answer. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Let's go to our seven prayer requests. I want you to say, Lord, I thank you for the ones already answered. Oh, yeah. Yes, thank you, Lord, for the ones already answered from the, among these seven requests. I know, I know for a truth because many of you have talked to me privately of how God is already moving, that God has even already moved on many of your prayer requests. Lord, I thank you, even from day one. Uh, testimonies have been coming in. Thank God for the ones already answered among these seven requests. In the name of Jesus, Father, I bless you your name. Father, I worship you. Father, I glorify you. Thank you, Lord, for the ones already answered among them. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray for yourself that you will not block, be the one that blocks your answers. You know, we blame the devil, we blame witches, we blame wizards, when many times we are the ones that block our own answers. Say, oh Lord, let me not be the blockade for my answers. In the name of Jesus, let nothing about me, O oh God, let nothing around me, O oh God, God, fight against the full manifestation of the answer to these seven requests. In the name of Jesus, ask the Lord to touch you tonight. In the name of Jesus, that you will not be the one that will hinder yourself. That you will not be the one that will block yourself. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want you to come against the spirit of delay tonight. Say spirit of delay. Come on, say spirit of delay. Call it one more time. Say spirit of delay. I banish you from prolonging my journey. I banish you from prolonging my journey into attaining the manifestations of these answers. Oh Lord, I come against spirit of delay. In the name of Jesus, I come against the spirit of delay. I bind your power. I bind your influence. I bind your attack against these prayers coming to pass. In the name of Jesus, spirit of delay, loose your hold on my answers. Spirit of delay. Lose your hold on my answers. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you will not allow the spirit of delay to prolong my journey into attaining the full manifestation, complete manifestation of these seven prayer requests. In the name of Jesus. And I want us to pray that no man, no spirit, no man, no spirit, no power, no man, no spirit, no power, no man, no spirit, no power will be able to successfully fight against these answers coming to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. I hold my own prayer points in my hand on this paper, O oh Lord. Father, I pray on them. I 
allow no man, allow no power, allow no spirit to be able to fight against these coming blessings. They shall come, they shall arrive in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Some are already answered, some are not answered. I want you to pray tonight all your prayers that are yet to be answered. Oh God, visit them, visit them. I pray for divine visitation. Come on, pray, 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 pray for divine visitation. Father, divinely visit all these seven requests in the name of Jesus. Divinely visit, divinely visit all these seven requests in the name of Jesus. Divine visitation is what they need. Oh, anywhere God visits, there is victory. Anywhere God visit, there is breakthrough. Oh Lord, you can read. Look down and read my request, oh God, and give me a breakthrough, and give me an answer, and give me a rejoicing victory in the name of Jesus. Divine visitation, divine visitation, divine visitation, I need it tonight. Divine visitation, visit my needs in the name of Jesus. The ones I wrote down, the ones that are on my head, the ones that are in my brain, visit them, visit them, visit them, visit them. Can I ask you to pray another prayer though? Grace. Come on, pray for grace. Come on, ask for grace to patiently wait until your answers come. Father, release unto us grace. Father, release unto me grace. Release to everyone on this prayer line grace to patiently wait until our answers come. In the name of Jesus, Elijah prayed for rain. Oh, and rain came. I want you to pray that all answers eventually must come concerning all these requests. Elijah prayed the first time, there was no answer. Second time, there was no answer. Third time, there was no answer. Eventually, that is what is going to happen to you. Eventually, say, oh Lord, eventually. God of eventually. Come on, say God of eventually. As Elijah's prayer brought rain down at last. Let my answers at last come. Let my answers eventually come concerning these seven requests. In the name of Jesus, I shall not be weary. Come on, confess it. I shall not be weary. Come on, confess it. I shall not be tired. Say, I shall not faint in asking. Give me that grace not to be faint, not to be weary. In the name of Jesus, grace not to be faint, grace not to be weary, grace not to be tired. Father, release it to me, release it to all of us. In the name of Jesus, we have needs tonight. Oh Lord, faith that holds on to the hand of the omnipotent one. Did you hear what I said? Faith that holds on to your omnipotent hand. Release it to me tonight, release it to us tonight, release it to me tonight. Faith that holds on to the omnipotent hand of God. Papa, release it to us, release it to us, release it to us, release it to us. Can I ask you to make a decree? Say a decree by the grace of God. Say it again. Say a decree by the grace of God. Say it one more time. Say a decree by the grace of God. I shall laugh at last concerning these seven requests. I shall give a testimony concerning this yeah, seven requests. I shall bless the name of the Lord concerning these seven requests. I decreed by the grace of God. I decree by the power of God. I decree by the mercy of God. I shall laugh at last concerning these seven requests. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say whatever is holding on to my answers. May your hand be paralyzed. In the name of Jesus. Loose your hold on my answers. Whatever it is. Whoever it is. Come on open your mouth. Whatever it is. Whoever it is it is that is holding on to my answers. Let it go tonight. Let it go tonight. Let it go tonight in the name of Jesus. Say every binding. Say every blockage. Say every barrier. Those three B's. Bindings, blockages, barriers on my answers. Be catch fire. Catch fire tonight. Catch fire tonight. I said every binding. I said every blockage. I said every barrier to my answers. Be removed by fire. Be removed by fire. In the name of Jesus. Say covenant keeping God. Let your covenant to answer me when I call. Be triggered concerning this request. There's a covenant from God unto us that when we call he will answer. Covenant keeping God. That's who you are. You keep your word. Oh Lord. Your covenant to answer me when I call. Let it be triggered tonight. 
tonight. Your, 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 your covenant keeping promise. Oh Lord, to answer me when I call. Father, let it be triggered on this seven request tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do you all remember the judge in the uh, parable that Jesus gave about the widow, the unrighteous judge. The unrighteous judge <laughs> ultimately gave the widow what she wanted. The unrighteous judge gave the widow what she requested. I want you to pray not to the unrighteous judge tonight, but I want you to pray to the righteous God. Say righteous judge. Say righteous judge. Answer all my requests. Righteous father. Answer all my requests. Righteous judge. I'm I'm talking to a righteous judge, not to an unrighteous judge. Answer my request. Answer my request. Answer my request. In the name of Jesus, I want you to say, Lord, into your hand, I commit all my requests. Into your hand, I commit all my requests. Let the blood of Jesus speak for me. 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 You say, Bishop, why are you talking about the blood of Jesus? Because the book of Romans Romans tells us, uh, if he can freely give us Jesus, there's nothing he will not freely give us by him. I want you to say, let the blood of Jesus speak for me concerning these seven requests. I am not here because of my own righteousness. I'm not here because of my own goodness. I'm here because of the price that Jesus paid. Blood of Jesus, manifest. Let them fully manifest. I commit it into your hand, O oh, every request. Manifest, 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 manifest. Let me give you one more prayer point and then we go home. Any secret fear in me, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray. Any secret fear in me that I might be denied, command that secret fear to die tonight, in the name of Jesus. Maybe you wrote this same request last year. Maybe you wrote this same request two years ago and secretly you are afraid. This year is going to be another year of failure. So Oh Lord, any secret fear in me that I might be denied, remove it, let it die, let it be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to entertain any fear about this prayer request. Answer me, give me my desires. In the name of Jesus, come on, give God the praise, give God the glory. Give God a honor for answering us tonight. We bless his name. We worship him. We worship him. We adore him. We glorify him for being with us, for answering us. Come on, give him glory. Come on, give him honor. Say, I shall testify. Say, I will testify. Say, I must testify in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Papa, for the answer tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. I bless you in the name of the Father. I bless you in the name of the Son. I bless you in the name of the Holy Ghost. May the Lord grant you all the desires of your heart, even like the man of God, the priest, told Hannah in the house of God. May everything you have asked of God be granted you even beyond what you have asked. May your fears be under your feet from now on. May you walk in confidence in the name of Jesus, afraid of nothing. And may you testify concerning this seven request at the end of the day. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And amen, and amen, and amen. Thank you all for joining us on Facebook, on our podcast, and the calling in. We give God the glory. It's not too late to share the links for yesterday and today. Please do so. All our announcements for the weekend and for the next for next week, they remain unchanged. Prayers for next week. Ha! The flyers will be ready this weekend. Likened to a dream. Yes, likened to a dream. Don't get any ideas. Don't get any ideas. Just join us next week as we pray about this. Very serious prayers. Likened to a dream. What is likened to a dream? You'll find out when you come next week. As we go home now and rest for the evening, let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ... The love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord 
forever and ever. Amen and amen. Go and rest for the weekend, fearless ones. Good night.